This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I set my machine to allow me to subdivide to another level? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a simple polysphere here loaded in. And the question is referring to a message that you may receive when you're trying to subdivide a model. So with this polysphere here, I'm just going to start dividing this up here. And I'm going to divide it up to around 393,000 points. Now, depending on what your machine specs are, if you divide the model again, you may end up with a note like this. So this node is telling you that basically subdividing the current mesh will produce a mesh with polygons larger than that specified in the preferences memory tab or that your machine can handle. So the question is asking if there is a way to allow ZBrush to divide again, even though this note is happening. So the first thing we want to look at that corresponds to this is that option in the preferences tab. So I'm going to navigate to preferences up here, and I'm just going to open up this memory area. So in this memory area, there is a max poly per mesh slider. And this is going to determine how many polygons you can subdivide a single subtool to. So right now I had this set to one. So as you noticed, when I had a mesh that was 393,000 points and I try to divide it, I'm getting that error. If I come back to this preferences tab here and say change this to something around five and hit enter and then go back and divide, you're gonna see it's going to allow me to divide up again. Now the value of the slider is set automatically when you launch ZBrush. And this is set based on the RAM that your current machine has. So if you have, say, 16 gigabytes of memory, you're probably going to have the slider somewhere around 75 million polygons. If you have a 32-bit machine, it's probably going to be maxed out all the way to 100. So depending on what your machine's memory is, it's going to determine what polygon count you can reach per subtool. Now there is a chance that the slider could have just been knocked down a little bit lower, generating that note as you try to divide a model. So just check this first and then see if you can divide up again. Now the amount of polygons you can divide to on a model is linear compared to the amount of RAM you have. So let's say I have a reachable polygon count per subtool that is around 8 million, but I want to reach a polygon count that's around 12 million. So we're going to do a quick little math here. So you take the 8 million divided by 12 million and it gives you 1.5. So in order to reach 12 million polygons on a single subtool, you need to increase your RAM by 1.5. So if my current RAM on my machine is 4 gigabytes, the RAM I would need would be 6 gigabytes. So I need 6 gigabytes of RAM to reach that 12 million polygons. So all these here are just hypothetical numbers. So a reachable count of 8 million doesn't necessarily equal 4 gigabytes here. So it's going to be based on your system specs. So just see what you can divide up to, and then do the math like so, and then you can figure out how much RAM you're going to need to reach that desired polygon count. Now again, this maximum polygon count is related to a single subtool. So right now, let's say I've changed my preferences back to that 5 million there, okay? So this mesh right now, I can divide it up to 1.5. So if I try to divide up past 1.5 million, it's going to breach that 5 million, and it's not going to allow me to do it. Well, you can split your models up into separate subtools, and then each of these subtools can have up to that 5 million points. So let's take our sphere here. I'm just going to lower it all the way down, down to the lowest subdivision here. Now I'm just going to hold Control and Shift to get this Select Rectangle Brush and drag that out and then hold Alt and just hide part of this model here. Then we go to the split area here and just do a split hidden. And this is going to take that hidden part of my model and split it off to a new subtool. So now that I have this polysphere broken into two subtools, I can divide each of these hemispheres here up to that 5 million polygon. So let's take this one. I'm going to just crank his subdivisions all the way up. And now he's at 787,000 points there. So I can divide him up again. So now I'm at 3 million. Then I go to the top of the polysphere here, go back up to the highest resolution there, divide him again. And now you'll see that I have both of these spheres here. It's still making up one single polysphere, but I'm now reaching a total point count of around 6 million. So just by coming through and splitting up your model into subtools will allow you to divide each of these subtools up to the max polygon count your machine can handle, and that's going to allow you to reach those higher resolutions. 
So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.